Now, if you've watched this show before, you know these are colors I am, you know, I'm not Miss Pink Person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here comes a good one. <laughs> Unexpected in the shadows. I like to put. Actually, I like to put unexpected things everywhere. I don't know. You ever remember being a kid and uh, playing with the shadows on the wall and doing little birds? And Welcome to Give Your Wall Some Soul. I'm Shannon Grissom. Well, you can definitely tell from the opening shot that golf is taking over my life. I've got my golf bag on the set, my new head cover uh, based on my monkey made of sakis, and we're really excited about doing this. And even in the still life I'm doing, there's a golf ball that snuck into it, so that's going to be fun. I'm really excited about today. It's our 50th anniversary, so we've had 50 episodes, and I've uh, got a great crew that's been with me a long time. And one of the crew members who's probably the shyest guy we have here, it's his birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday, Larry. And we're going to play the kazoo. You know, I've been wanting to play the kazoo every show, so here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Larry! Oh, he's gonna get back at me. I know that I am in deep trouble. Well, you know, it's just a good way to start the show, and I want to thank all the crew members that, that the show isn't a show without everybody else that helps me out here. All right, well, today we're going to paint a still life. Um, we're going to do it in one shot, so I'm going to get started. Larry's still shaking his fist at me. He's going to come get me later. All right, so what are we going to do to, to just really charge up the energy here? Um, a couple things about the still life. We've got a pitcher, a, or coffee, actually it's a, a silver coffee pot, fortune cookie, and of course a golf ball. Cool thing about the golf ball is that I had lost my ball, or I, well, I was looking for it. Never did find the ball that I had, but when I did find the ball, here it was with a monogram from Daphne's head covers. Well, they're, they're the, I mean, how cool is it to find a ball from them? Because they are the ones that are actually making my monkey into head cover. So I thought it was very auspicious. So we're putting them in the still life. So what am I going to start with today? Not the red. I think I'm going to start in the lower part of the canvas and get some gold down. Now it looks yellow in the reference photo. And it is yellow in the reference photo. But not in my painting. <laughs> it's going to be gold. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow ochre and mix that with some Indian yellow. And that might be a little too loud. Yeah, think. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of violet just to tone it down a little bit. Just slightly. I better wipe my knife or I'm going to contaminate this. And that's too early to start doing that. I can do that later. Actually, that's not so bad. All right, let me, I'm just going to add a little bit, just a tad on the bit of my knife here. There. If you add the compliment, that stops it from being a screamer. Oh, that's nice. That's just a nice little background gold. All right, I'm going to block that in quickly. And we're going to do really rough around the edges. I'm going to spend more time today. That's a nice, nice little neutral. More, but I'm going to add a little dark hair. More time today on the picture than anything else. All right, so there's some light hair. And I'm just blocking in some basic shapes here. Nothing fancy. Yeah, 
You know, when you're looking for subjects to paint, you know, it's just great to find objects around your house. And the other thing is, is you, know, you don't have to have all this fancy drapery um, on hand. Use what you have. The red in the background is just a pillow that I had. And I was looking all over. I kept trying to find something that was purple. And I said, so my husband comes home and, and I, he goes, well, what are you doing? I said, I'm looking for purple. I'm looking all over for purple. And he goes, well, your, sh your shirt is pretty close to that. I'm like, whoa. So I went upstairs and changed and put that, used that as part of the drapery because I, you know, I didn't, couldn't find any purple the color that I wanted there. And the other thing you'll notice is that the, the gold in the still life is really pale in the reference photo. It's pale. It's washed out. It's just not what I wanted. So I thought, well, it'll be a good base color for that, but I'll, I'll uh, change it when I paint it. And that's exactly what I did. That's a nice gold. So I'm just doing some quick, quick little blocking in a color. And also, it's just good to get some movement down right away. I think we're going to have to paint the head cover one of these days, but I was in a reflective mood, so that's why we're doing the picture. Going to pick it up so I can get the bottom. Paint under the bowl. It, whoops. <laughs> You'll notice that it has, the reference photo has two light sources. Well, that's not always, well, it's not usually a good thing, but that's just how it was in the studio. I had the overhead light plus the light from the uh, sliding glass door. So, you know what? Sometimes uh, I liked what it did with the reflections, and that's how it really looked in the room, and I thought, well, that's all right. I'll leave it. Traditionally, though, you want to do just one light source. Makes it a lot easier to paint. Getting this paste in. I think for the shadow color, I'm just going to quickly add a little bit of violet. To this mix. Oh, that was a lot of violet. <laughs> so I think I'll add some uh, yellow ochre to compensate and a little bit of red. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. All right, let's get this darker color in. That's just too much. I'm just going to tone it down right away. Work that off of my brush. Well, you can tell I started early contaminating the color, so you can tell what kind of night this is going to be. Wild painting. Sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's not. You know, I had somebody comment because th that I didn't wear red lipstick the other night. I wore a lot of red lipstick. And I said, you know what, I just felt like fading into the woodwork. And you know what, sometimes it's like that with painting. Sometimes you just want a quieter painting. All right, so we have a nice little shadow color there. And I think I'll throw some of that right up here. As a base, like under that drapery here. And I will stop. All right, now we must go to the red because we've probably gone a couple minutes into the show and there's not been any red. So, and you'll notice it's not the focal point of this painting and it's not the dominant color. But, uh, but it's there. All right, so what do I want to do? I want to do a shadow side, which I'm going to mix with that violet, and also some of this ochre to tie it together. That's nice. And I think I'm going to use a dirty brush and see what happens. 
that'll that'll tie the two colors together. So I've still got ochre on the brush. And I'm gonna be brave. And put it on the shadow side. Oh, that's lovely. Like that. And because it already has some of the ochre in it, it's gonna be complementary to the ochre that's down there. So they're not gonna scream at each other. We want happy colors. I'm trying to be careful around the edge of the silver coffee pot, but not too careful. Because that just wouldn't be fun. I know, it would bore you guys. That was great. I've been wanting to play the kazoo for God knows how long. And every time I pull it out, they're going, you're not going to play the kazoo, are you? So, you know, when you look at the reference photo, it's really, it's very jewel toned. It's got these really bright colors. And you can tell that's why I'm really addressing that yellow. And um, actually, the background color of the gold, I really, really like. So I think that the, the gold background color is going to mesh with the part that's in the lower. That's why I changed that pale, pale yellow to the background color. I really think that that's going to be a more complimentary look. It's just going to make it a richer painting. All right, putting this red in. That's pretty good. Throw some blue up there. Now I'm going to do the lighter red. And uh, again, I'll keep using this dirty brush. I'm continuing to take the colors that I have and leave a little bit of their friends as remnants on there. And that way they'll all be happy together. Same gene pool. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's a 49er red. Oh. I'm a 49ers girl, not a Raiders girl. That's why I don't use a lot of black. Can't help it. Okay. Wonder how many emails I'll get this time. <laughs> Whoops. That's all right. All right, that's a nice red. Just put it down. All right, so I'm using a dirty brush, lighter color, not light enough. So you just fix it. You know what? If you put something down and it doesn't work, don't keep doing it. <laughs> Stop. And, oh, that's much better. Oh, I love that. Now, I don't want it to be too bright. That's why I wasn't uh, going for my, my favorite cad red light. I don't want it to pop out and say, hey, be a screamer. But, but it definitely needed to be different than what was there. Oh, gorgeous color. Love that when it happens. I'm just kind of scribbling this in. Can you tell? So just throw the color up there. a good start. All right, I'll tidy up this edge. And then I'll go over the top of that later. Okay, so that's a violet. Now we need to do a dark blue. Just really get this black background in. All right, so I'm going to take some, yeah, I'll take some ultramarine blue and throw in a bit of the thalo turquoise and, of course, some red. See, we continue to be harmonious with what, what we were doing before. Just keeps moving, moving together. 
I'm going to use the dirty brush and see how that works. This time I might wipe a little bit of it off, but it's still going to have paint on it. Now this is working, continuing to use the same brush with these different colors, because I'm moving and I'm painting only the darks right now. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice, rich, dark blue. I like that. I'm just going to blend that in with that, so the light strokes there. Tidy up this edge. And see, I'm going to quickly look and say, okay, where else do I see some dark? And I'm going to throw in the darks. So there's a little bit of dark right here. Yeah, and some more right here. Pretty much outlines this little shape of this handle. I can't tell you how many times I've broken the top of the, the very tip of the handle, uh, the lid for the coffee pot. It's very fragile. And, um, God, I don't know how to put it. When I was a kid in the store and something would break, my mom would look to see where I was, you know. <laughs> so if she heard a crash, she'd just check and see where I was. So I've not been very uh, gentle. Getting better about that. But anyway, so I was just polishing it. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to clean the thing. And um, boom, it, it kind of smashed on itself. And there, there we go. Had to get a... Had to get it soldered. Put it this way, it's only used in still lives now. It's not, not used for coffee. But I like it. Or I'll put flowers in it. All right, so there's some dark there. I'm looking at these just really abstract shapes. And this, let's see, I'm looking, where's there, where else is there some more dark? This is the handle here, that's dark. Yeah, and this comes down like this. Now I know in the reference photo it looks like they're both blue, but that really is a violet, and I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make that more pronounced when I do it. With the other drapery. And then there's some dark right here. If you think I'm just really roughing this in, I am because I want to spend a good amount of time on that picture. All right, so now I'll make a lighter blue and we'll keep moving. I'm going to add some white to it. Oops, contaminated my white there. What do I think about that? I think it needs some more ultramarine blue. That's pretty. I'm definitely influenced by the seasons. And at this time of year, I really see a lot of jewel tones, and that's what I'm looking at. OK. I'm not sure if that's the right blue, but I'm not, I'm going to suspend judgment till I get it down. It probably could be a little darker. I didn't suspend judgment very long. <laughs> it needs a little bit darker. There. I really appreciate the calls and the emails, um, letters about the people that are painting out there. It, it feels like I'm doing my job as if I get you excited about painting. And I, one of my favorite, my favorite uh, calls I got was from the copyright office. 
And this man said, you know, it's his job to watch the shows that come in. And um, <laughs> he, didn't, he, he, he said, and yours isn't boring. And I <laughs> said, this is great. That made my day. That really made my day. Came, so he gets paid to watch TV. But I guess depending on what it is, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's torture. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't say mine was torture. I would have cried. Okay. Got some light there, and I'm going to throw in some light right in here over the top to unify that. Throw in some more blue. We're doing really rough fabric here. I'm going to get this whole thing based in and see how far we get before I play with anything. And this is definitely one of those, you put the spots down, you put the spots down, doesn't look like anything, and all of a sudden, it's like, wow. Okay, I get it. All right, let's see, we've got some more light here. What's this doing? I think that we need a little more. I missed some gold, so I'll throw it in. I'm going to make it a darker. You just take another brush and put it down. All right, where's the blue end? I just have to find it's right under the handle. It goes like this, because then I think the purple. Whoops. Boy, I was way off there. OK. <laughs> to stop. I lost my place. <clears throat> that happens, you know. I get sidetracked. Imagine that. All right, I'm going to quickly get the purple down now because I really want to keep moving. And then I'll stand back and see where, where we are. You know what? I need some dark up here, though. I can see that from before I even go further. So I'm just grabbing some dark. Because it doesn't make sense if it's isolated. They have to connect. So we need some dark there. And that's just too light. So what did I do? I added some red. Too much red. A little bit of blue here, a little bit there, and I think I'm just going to make that whole thing dark, otherwise that's just wonky. I'm exaggerating that. Okay, before I lose the rest of that, I need to, I need to stop. There. All right, now I got to move on to the purple. So I'm going to take the violet. And I might just take some of that, some of this thalo turquoise, and that might be the dark there. That would be pretty. Get a clean brush for this. And I'm going to throw in the darks. I'm not putting all the ribs in in the shirt that were in the, the sweater that I was wearing um, because you know they would be interesting and you could do that, but it makes me tired. <laughs> it just I, I want a simpler composition than that, so so I'm not going to do it. All right, so we got some purple there, a little more purple going up here. Besides the pur the violet against the the gold is just going to be pretty because they're compliments. And I knew they would sing well together. OK, 
Okay, so this is a little dark hair. A little more dark underneath this. And let's see if that works. So I'm just looking for all the dark spots. And then I will make mix a lighter purple and add that. Right now they're just disjointed little spaces. <laughs> oh, I just see all these funny, funny things. Um, <laughs> funny little shapes when they're and they just crack me up. Okay, so we're, uh, when you look at the reference photo, <laughs> okay, I, <laughs> I saw these shapes and I started to talk about them and the director's saying, no, no, she's waving at me and she's saying, no, don't go there, Shannon. <laughs> and um, so I've been censored. <laughs> we'll go back to the painting. She wouldn't let me talk about the shapes that I saw. Um, all right, I'll, be, I'll behave for a little while. But I can't help it if they make me laugh. I should at least be able to tell these people what, what, what's making me laugh. Okay. But no. Fine, I'll work on the fortune cookie. <laughs> this is great. Now, you know, you look really, if you look at the reflection in the, in the picture, it was hard to take the picture without me being in the, uh, in the reflection. And I thought, oh, well, I mean, I just didn't really want it to be about me, so I didn't do that. But it was, it was hard to get that done. All right, I'm going to throw in some violet, and then i got to move over to the light violet, and then i got to move over to the pitcher. Get working on that. Otherwise, we'll never get it done. All right, so I'm going to move this over. Oh, that's pretty. Now, I don't like just adding... Uh, white to violet. It it turns a oh. It loses its huevos. <laughs> it loses all its strength. <laughs> that's just that. That's just the word I wanted to say. Um. <laughs> My director's still shaking her head. Okay. <laughs> you know it's a good thing we're not on earpieces, and I can't hear everything she's saying. I'd be in trouble. Okay, oh, what a beautiful violet. All right, so the reason I add a little bit of blue to this is to strengthen it and give it some character because it just loses something if you don't. Now that's a beautiful violet and it's gonna be happy next to that gold. And we have to be happy next to our neighbors. Okay. Oh, that's great. See, look at that next to that gold. Yep. That's where it wanted to be. Did you guys know that this, this show is filmed live and live to tape so that there's no editing? So what you see is what you get. 
And uh, our first few shows, we actually had a, a live studio audience and a musician, and they talked about doing call-in, but uh, I get too distracted as it is, so we decided not to do that. But I do appreciate the emails and phone calls. I'm just going to slap this in so that we can move on. I'm using a lot of medium to help the paint flow, too. I do like that. I think I'll add a little more violet up here to tie this together. And it's a little more subdued than I think I'll have it at the very end, but uh, that's all right for now. Too early to, quit to pick it apart. All right, I'm leaving it rough because I need to move on to other sections. I can't keep playing with it, but um, you're getting the idea of what's going, you know, what's going to occur with this. Um, I'll tie in the darks just a, a little bit later if we have time, but I want to throw in some of this other color first. But you know, you know, it, it, I have to tell you though, you're you know, you're looking at it going, God, it's not a cloth yet, or it's not this or this yet. If um, it bugs me as much as it, maybe not as much as it bugs you, but. It <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but it does. Um, but in the interest of time, this is a live show. I'm going to keep moving, show you how to get those reflections going. And if we have time, I'll tidy that up. And if not, you get to see it later on the website. All right, so what are we going to do? Golf ball. Let's just put some golf ball, had all kinds of fun color in there. All right, we had some blue right down the mill. And that was how cool to find a Daphne's golf ball while I was golfing. That's just, that's just amazing. And whoever, th whoever thought that your, your art would be on products like that, that's just, that's really exciting. Okay, so and then the other side of the, the other, the dark side of the golf ball, it's really got a lot of red in it. It's a pale, pale red gray. So I'm going to take some dirty white because it's handy and it's quick. Add a little bit of violet to it. There we go. I'm brush mixing. That's the dark side of that needs to be a little cooler. There we go. Dark side of the golf ball. Mix that in. That's very dark. Might be too dark. I have to decide whether where I want to put the shadow, and I think the shadow will help everything too. So there's the dark there, and, but I'm going to throw in the light, and then I have to get off the golf ball because we got to get to the picture. Where's the light? Need a good brush for that. All right, so we have just, nope, that's too close to the, there, too close to the color of the cloth. That won't do. And throw in some shadow. Look, I have to lift this up because I can't reach it. Is that too, you know, that's just going to be too, too dark. So I'm going to blend that in. That's good. A lot lighter helps. And throw in the shadow. Need a little more, brush with a little more control.
Now I'm lifting it up so that I can... That's better. We have a red shadow. Well, that's all right. We'll throw in some red here and it'll all tie together. Too many light sources does make it confusing. So, you know, you wouldn't think to put red in the shadow, but that did make it start to pop. I'm going to surround this ball, surround this ball with light. I have to get a cleaner brush. More yellow. And then push it away so that it doesn't look like I'm just making drawing circles or halos around the golf ball. It's exactly what we're doing, we just don't want it to be obvious. Now as far as making it rounder, we'll tidy that up later. That's just to give you an idea of how to start to give something form. So it's starting to get form and then the way I would clean that up is a little bit, a little bit of violet over here. Ooh, that was a little more than a little bit. There. Blend. All right, so we'll stop there. The ball's starting to get form if you stand back from it and look. Not quite so flat. And uh, I got to keep moving so that I can get to the pitcher because we haven't even started the pitcher yet. All right, so what are we going to do first? Let's throw in some, uh, this is going to be quick and dirty. Throw in some lights. So we're matching the color pretty much that's on the cloth. So where do I see some light? Right here. That's not light enough. That's, that's wimpy. There. That's better. Almost too much. We're like Goldilocks here. Oh, that's, <laughs> that was, ooh. Ow. Okay, Rodney. I'm going to start comparing the colors to Caddyshack again, and that was definitely Rodney. We want Bill Murray. Where are you, Bill? That's better. are interesting abstract shapes. You can, and I, I have people call and tell me they see all kinds of things just in these little weird shapes that I paint for this. Okay, so where else do I see light? I'm just going to keep moving. There's light here. There's light here. There's just a little, little bit of red in the light over here. A little more red there. Where else do I see a little violet? I'm just looking at what, what colors do I see? Just spots of color. I had a child ask me if there was special silver paint, and there's not. It's just looking at the spots of color, painting what you see. And in my case, painting what you see and adding other colors just because you like them, and that's how it should be. Okay, so there was a little more violet because you're getting a little more and uh, a little more red over here. Getting a reflection from this. Where else do I see some red? Well, I have it on my brush. Right there. Make some blues. I think I'll I'll go ahead and mix my dark color. Might as well use some of the stuff you already have. That's good. I'm going to overstate the darks in some areas. That's good, right there. I 
All right. So I'm going to start at the top. My work my way down. Where do I see the? Wow. I just holy cow. Just missed a whole section of background, and this thing won't make sense until I put it in. Let's talk about getting lost. Ooh, I love the violet that got on my brush by accident. That's nice. That was a happy accident. Won't do it now, but later I'll change that to the rest of the background color because I like that. See, I get distracted. And you know what? It's not just being on TV. I mean, I do this at home, too. Can't use that as an excuse. Oh, that, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello. Okay, so let's go back to the dark. That's where I was. And let's block this in. There's just a big old bunch of dark right there. And at this handle. Right around the uh, spout. Something like that. Underneath. Let's start there. I'm not putting in all the lines I see, but I'm putting in some enough to, to get the idea of what's going on. And where else is there some dark? Nothing that's that dark except for maybe right here. There. Then I need to warm it up a little bit. So I'm going to add some red to warm it up. Because under this part of the rim, it's there. That's nice. It's a little bit warmer. Some dark there. Right under here where it meets. And just throw in some nice grays. And so I'm taking my brush that's already got nice dark on there and throwing it into the violet just to add some nice grays to throw in there. Let's see what that, what that does. That's pretty. Probably not light enough. Throw in some violet here and some blue. Take that same blue. I've got to wipe my brush, though. I'm going to be bold and just throw in some, some echoing some of the blue there. Where else do I see it? Maybe right here. And then I'm going to grab. This has a little bit, it's dirty yellow brush, it's got a little bit of the red. Dip it right in there. I'm doing a lot of brush mixing this time, instead of mixing the colors one at a time. Okay, that's good. And then I just need to add a little bit of blue to this to make that nice little gray for the corner there. to address this shape. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so are you painting out there? I hope so. Throw in some of the light. I hope this is encouraging you to just be bold. Just put it down. I'm going to throw in some of the light, light, light. The real, just almost straight white right here before I lose my place. Right here at the top. Right here. 
Whoops. A little bit contaminated. I got three brushes going. Can't help it. Don't want to put them down because that's for balance. <laughs> It really does help. That's a little bold, but I, I'll tone it down with some blue. And make this a little peachy color. What happens though, sometimes you forget which, which one you had where. And you run into trouble. Okay. That's good. I'm putting just a slight little gray. Gray that down a little bit. That was nice. Do the same thing at the top here. Got to start filling in these spots here. See, I'm using a big fat brush. I'm not doing any details yet. Throw in some dark, more a little darker gray. I did this in a workshop that I had on a silver pitcher like this. The entire painting uh, covering the canvas took about, in, in a rough state like this, took about three hours. And so it's not a fast overnight thing. But I can get it to a, I can get it roughed in enough so that you guys will get a good idea of how to do it. And now I'm just outlining this little lip here. And you know what? I can correct the shapes later. The main thing is to get it in. All right, so what do we see here? A little bit of blue. And then just blend this in. Because I'm boiling it down to what's light and what's dark. So even the red that was too much over there is going to work. I'll add a little bit of light here. And just start throwing the color in around the corner. All right, so to get some instant gratification because we're, you know, we're getting toward the end of the show here. Kind of throw in some darks. So we're echoing this blue that's right up here. And some of the light, which was right in the middle in the violet. May never get that fortune cookie painted. thinking about how that's how the cookie crumbles but I wasn't gonna say that but I did anyway because I couldn't help it okay so it's dark right under this little handle here spout I'm calling it a handle but it's a spout whatever it's close enough there I just wiped out the fortune cookie will he stay in the painting yes because he's important will I do him tonight I don't know and doubt it. All right, so let's add the. Uh, we've got this here. We need to add a little more gold. So I'm throwing some ochre on my brush. Doesn't look like it though, does it? Grab a different one. A little more paint on the brush would help. There. And where else do I see smoker? Just some lines right there. And some dark right here in the middle. If you keep your darks consistent, the reflections work. So dark there. And now I'll throw in some light. Neutral light. Needs to cool that down a little bit. Wasn't neutral enough. Imagine that. Okay, I'm just going to throw in a little bit of red, which will suggest the fortune cookie. 
a little bit of white, which will suggest the egg. Straight white. Well, it was straight till I, I contaminate it with purple. That's all right. Nobody knows what that is. All right, so now we need a light blue. Light blue on the edge. Darker on this edge here. I'm sneaking up on the middle. It's darker and it's also red. Make some nice gray hair. It's totally, everything's brush mixed tonight. Why am I painting differently? Uh, probably because I'm trying to rush it so that I'm not patiently mixing colors. And part of it's just probably the energy that I have tonight. Okay, so we've got that. We can just kind of blend it a little bit. So we've got these going down. Blend it this way. And then blend it together. Reinstate the darks and you've got a bottom. Yep, can't be playing with that though. We're running out of time. All right, so I'll keep moving. Ooh, made it messy. That happens. Sometimes you have to wait till it dries before you can fix it too. All right, so let's move on to this other spout and try and get something to make some sense there. All right, where's the, we've got light on this edge. Ooh. Light there. More of a pink. Throw in some blue. This is dark too, so I'm going to throw in some red and kind of gray that down a little bit. I'm covering all these edges so these will start to make sense. We make magic in the last bit of the show. And I'm just following all the dark and light shapes. That's what I'm looking for. A little bit of red right there. Maybe a little too much red right there. OK, time to step back. Starting to get the right shapes in. If we blend it just a little bit on some of these areas, it'll start to work. I'll throw in the light, do some blending and you'll get a good idea of where to go with this. Okay. All right, now I'll start blending. So I'm going to take a good stiff brush, get my paper towel handy. Oh, needed some dark over here.
blend this together. Now you can see these are still obviously in a really rough, not even a finished first statement, but it's starting to get the look of shine and reflection. And what you would do is continue to refine these shapes. And you know, like I would let it dry and continue to find the shapes within the shape. So what we've put down so far today are all the main, the largest shapes that we see. And so the shapes within this, that the next step would be to find the shapes within the shapes and put those in and then just simply keep going until and blending it each time until you have all the shapes identified and then it really does turn into a wonderfully shiny object. So what I would suggest is to wait a couple weeks and then check my website because you'll be able to get a good idea of, of how the finished painting looks. And you can check it out on www.shannongrissom.com. And uh, you'll, I'm also working on another silver picture there. So you get a really good idea of how to put the shapes in. But you follow the same steps, but just continue to get more and more shapes. And you can see as I'm blending, it's picking up the reflection. So it's really, it's starting to take shape. I think I played too much kazoo today. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching Give Your Wall Some Soul, and thanks to the crew for, for 50 wonderful episodes. We, I really appreciate all that you do. And thank you guys. I mean, it's, it's great. Have a great holiday season. Bye.